Hello again and welcome back to our second reading session of the week. Now I'm not going to read any more of the story right now, instead we're going to complete two activities based on what we've read so far. So you'll need a pen or a pencil and a piece of paper. Write today's date which is Tuesday the 12th of May 2020 and underline it please and our quiet can I question for today is can I use information and clues in the text to help me answer questions? Here's our first activity and it's a retrieval activity today so all the information is in the text to help us. Although you may have to do a little bit of research like I had for a couple of things. Here we go. It was a ship. At least it wasn't a real ship, but you could see it was meant to be a ship. Bushes had been cut into the shape of the bows and stern. And two trees trimmed to look like funnels. On either side of these there were two tall thin trees with not many branches that were obviously meant to be the masts. Then Alice said come on there's nobody about let's get a look at it. Okay here is your task then. Can you use the description from the text to help you label the different parts of the boat? Now, there's a couple there you might just have to have a look at, up. So you might have to look up which is the bow and which is the stern of the ship, okay, if you get confused. But the rest of the information there should help you label the green ship and its different parts. So you can do that in two ways. I'll put a copy of this picture of the green ship on our class dojo so you can download, print and then label the parts on there or you can have a go at drawing your own. So you can just draw it roughly on your piece of paper or you can take some time if you want to and make it look beautiful and do a fantastic green ship. But the main thing I want you to do is try and work out which are the different parts of the ship? So which piss is the which parts are the funnels? Which do you think are the masts? Which is the bow? Which is the stern of the ship? And what do you think this bit is here as well? Because this bit isn't actually mentioned in the text. And I'd like you to have a go at drawing your own version of the ship or using the one I've put on class dojo and labelling the different parts based on the description that has been said. Okay, so you'll need to pause the video now and either download and print off the picture from Class Dojo or you can have a go at copying it out on your own and label the different parts of the ship. So which is the bow, which is the stern, which are the funnels and which are the masts and for extra points what do you think this part is. And once you're ready, once you think you've labelled all the parts that have been described Play the video to find out the answers. Okay, are you ready? Here's your answers. So, we've got the bow, okay, so that's the front of the ship, and the stern, which is the back of the ship. I had to look that bit up. We've got the funnel, so two trims that, trees, sorry, that have been trimmed. It's a bit of a tongue twister two trees trimmed to look like funnels they're these ones here then on either side so on either side of those funnels we've got two tall thin trees with not many branches so it's this one and this one here that's the masts and i've put on here if we weren't sure what they are masts for the sails of a ship and also can be used as a high point on a ship for people to climb up and look out from and this part here, which doesn't actually mention, this part I've put is the bridge. So where are the, all the controls are for the ship, the ship's wheel, okay, and where all the navigation gets done. Okay, good job. Check your answers. I can't wait to see some of your pictures and your drawings. Here's our second activity for today. 
So, in these illustrations, we can see that there is a picture here. Okay, and there's the telescope, and it's described in the text. It says, on a little shelf, there was a telescope, and next to it, a photo in a brown wooden frame of a man in uniform. So I would like you to do a bit of thinking now, and I'd like you to answer these questions for activity two in full sentences. So the first question is this. Who do you think this is a picture of? So answer it in a full sentence, please. I think this picture is. Now bear in mind, if we look back in the text, it says that there's a photo in a brown wooden frame of a man in uniform. What type of uniform do you think it is? Okay, bear in mind where they are pretending to be. Why do you think this picture would be there? And why is there a man in uniform? Okay, so who do you think it is and why do you think he is dressed in uniform? So we're doing a little bit of prediction here work, prediction work. The answers aren't clear to us, so there's no right or wrong answer. We're just using the clues from the text to help us. And finally, why do you think there is a picture of him here? So why in a garden shed, which is supposed to be the bridge of a ship, Okay, the place where all the navigation and the steering is done. Why do you think there's a picture of a man in a, dressed in a uniform here? Who is he? And what role is he going to have to play in the story? So have a go at answering those questions for me, please. And I can't wait to see your responses. Later today, I'll be reading a little bit more of the story for you. Good job, guys.